I'm going to try to use two of these dimensions um, to give you an overview of the different redesign approaches that exist. The most popular approaches that most people are familiar with are analytical in nature and are inward looking. TRIS is a family of techniques which fits here, business process region engineering, BPR is another family, and Six Sigma. All these redesign approaches are highly um, analytical in nature because they have well-established tools to reason about processes, but they are all inward-looking in the sense that they look at existing processes and reason about these processes, how to change them. There are analytical techniques uh, which have a more outward way of dealing with process improvement. Um, a good example is Lean, where it is the voice of the customer that is the starting point for reasoning about process improvement. Another approach that also fits within this quadrant is reference modeling, where you would take an industry standard and try to impose that on your organization from the outside to the inside, but it is still an analytical approach in the sense that there are tools and techniques to start comparing a reference model with your existing process. Now let's switch to the other side, the creative uh, side of the spectrum. A very technique that fits you very well is brainstorming. Brainstorm is par excellence the technique where you would ask people to come up with all kinds of new ideas about your process. But it is still inward looking because you would um, guide them towards reasoning about an existing process. Another approach here is the approach which is called uh, positive deviance, where you would look still at an existing process, you would look at when it goes well, and you try to transfer these practices of when things go well to other cases. It is an inward looking uh, process, but it is also creative in nature, because it is not straightforward how to transfer these good practices to non-performing cases. The last quadrant is the quadrant where you would combine creativity with an outward looking view. Um, crowdsourcing would be a good example. If you ask people outside your organization uh, to think about the things that they would like to get from your organization, it gives you an outsider's perspective on the processes that you want to execute. There's also the example of the process model canvas, which is an example of a stream which we would refer to as design thinking. This is a approach that I'm going to deal in more detail in one of the next sessions. So let me wrap this up. I've been trying to give you an idea of the different sorts of process redesign approaches that exist, and I've given you a couple of dimensions to start reasoning about them. And what I hope that is that you can do is that you can start applying these dimensions to the redesign approaches that you are already familiar with. Um, can you characterize them using the dimensions that I've been explaining to you? Give it a try. Also, if you are familiar with process redesign, um, it may make sense at this point to start thinking about how the changes came about. What was actually triggered to come up with these new processes? Is that an outwards perspective, perhaps an industry print? Was it creativity that was um, uh, delivered to you by uh, people within your organization or outside? It gives you all kinds of uh, insights on how process redesign really materializes.